I'm Luis Cruz with this UT News update. A mother faces the man who killed her teenage son, and you may be surprised by what she did in court. Only God knows why I'm not angry or why I don't hate you. Would it shock you to hear that I love you? I thought to myself <laughs> one day a while back, don't lock him up, sentence him to my home. Let him be my son that he took away from me. And I want to sing this song. So you think that you can make it through. Just remember, my God cares for you. Don't you worry, don't you fret. Because the bed you lay in, my Savior, He's there for you to have met. Don't give up, don't give in. Today make Jesus Christ your number one friend. So I will close by saying, although we are free to choose, we are not free to choose the consequences of the choices we've made. So how, so now that you know who you are and how purposeful your life can be, you have a new choice of new life. Choose Jesus Christ today. If you can't do anything else, please do that for me. That was Tamika Brown, the mother of 19-year-old Richie Knight. Knight was stabbed in 2013 at the Linda Vista Recreation Center when a fight broke out between a large group of people. Knight graduated from Kearney High School in 2012 and was described by his friends as a standout basketball player. He had been rehearsing at the Recreation Center for the annual Linda Vista Multicultural Fair at the time he was killed. The suspect, 19-year-old Ian Ellis, pleaded guilty to manslaughter. Even the judge was stunned by Knight's mother's song of forgiveness. I've done a lot of homicide sentences. And Mr. Ellis, I want you to know I have never heard anything like this, and I think Mr. Bessie would tell you the same. Anything as weird as this may sound, wonderful in terms of a sentencing when I'm sentencing someone. Ellis was a juvenile at the time he killed Knight. Monday, he was sentenced to 21 years in state prison. Remember, you can get all your latest headlines right here on utsandiego.com.